2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Yeah, you're going to get fears from Finau every day. Good luck in this rivalry. I think you're going to need it. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Oh, so close. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this part 11 feet from the cup. This is on a great line. Starting the round at even par. That's a rock solid par right there. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Wind is going straight at his back. Unable to find the green on this one. Yeah, Wynn took that one offline in a hurry. And now over to Tony Finau. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. OK, let's get back to the action. Getting ready to play their third. Eighteen feet to the cup. This is important. Big par putt here. Rolling end to end. It's looking nice. Yep. Nice to make a mid-range par putt. So no movement on the leaderboard. Remaining at even overall. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. That's some good golf right there. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Close was that to going down. Putting for a par here. Ooh, nice line. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale. Not much to this hole, although with the bunker short, Left and short right requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. Opting for the six iron. This one looks like it's going right. This would be a great up and down from this spot.
And if this can go down, he'll save par. That starts off on a good line. For the par. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Now, three strokes back after that hole. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale's a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that'll catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Setting up miles from the hole. Well, if he holds this, he's going to apply some serious pressure to Tony Finau. Finau will be saying, hey now. Steady now. Maybe some time on the practice green wouldn't hurt. Even for the day. Very crafty, that shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's one stroke in front of his rival so far today. Great stuff. Nice little sand shot there. Came real close. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four. 432 off the back tees. And again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole, but a safe strategy lays back before them. This should play. That's a great shot into booty range here at the sixth. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. If he holds this, he'll tie with Tony. What a putt started this perfectly. That's a good way to bounce back from the drop shot at the last hole. So after that hole, he's now up to even with the card. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three, a straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Opting for the five wood. That should find the sand. He'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. They'll have to channel their inner Severiano Ballesteros here. This needs good hands. Oh, almost went in. Simply amazing. Splendid shot. Sets up the easy par. Looking better. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. Nice up and down there. Not a very difficult bunker shot, but nice to get it up and down nonetheless. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. 
Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Playing from around 150 yards here, four strokes off the lead. Going with the 9-iron, I think. That's inside the house of opportunity. And this putt to move into the top 20. This has eyes for the hole. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And that will take him to one under. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Finishing hole of the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a solid par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. The big hitters will get after this hole as there's plenty of room down the left-hand side. Although if you challenge that bunker on the right off the tee, it gives you just a short wedge in to a green that's only guarded by a pot bunker at the front and then a back right bunker. A chance here to make a birdie. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one might need to sit. And now over to Tony Finau. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Let's get back to it, shall we? This would be a great up and down. And that'll be a big boost with standings on the leaderboard. Why not take another look at that effort? I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. And as we turn for home, Rich, always a good chance to reflect on the halfway stage of this round. Two down, nine to go. I got to say, I like this player's chances. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. And he's down there. I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. He's gone down a club. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Just didn't drop. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Putting for a par now. Yeah, this is looking nice. That's a good putt to make, that one. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Yeah, that's well judged. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. 
The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left-hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Not really what they were hoping for there. Henny, what does that lie look like? He is not going to like this one bit. This is what bad lies are made of. That's the right option. Put it back in play. A couple under at this stage in a share of ninth position. A chance to save the par if he can make this one. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, well played. He's currently tied for ninth. The 12th at TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. going with the hybrid just needs this one to kick right well, that'll work up on the dance floor could have been worse would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie a spot in the all-important top five awaits if you can hold this putt That's outstanding. What a putt. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? OK, let's get back to it, shall we? The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Birdie here to really ignite your charge. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Getting ready to play their third. Just two shots behind. And now over to Tony Finau. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? OK, time to return to the action. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row.
Oh, so close. And that should secure the par on this one. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. That's a chunky lie. It's going to take all their talents to get out of this one. Looks to be going with the five iron. Is that what they had in mind? Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Oh, that's a clutch par. Currently at three under for the day. The 15th is a very important hole, the par 5, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Putting for Eagle here. Wow, was that a rush of blood or something? And here we are with their four. Just three strokes back. Didn't that look good for a long time? Three feet to go here to the hole. This for par. And now at three under with those finishing holes remaining. Could take it deep here. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. He's in a share of fifth position. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the stadium hole par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green and a chorus of boos will ring out. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. What's in front of them, Henny? This one will run uphill. Well done. He's just asked his caddy to go get that and march to the next tee. Oh, good look at birdie here. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Looking good, wasn't it? Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently at minus three for the event. 
This dramatic finish of TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th, Rich. If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you got to miss it out to the right-hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green and one, you never know, you could make it two. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Oh, just missed. That'll sting a bit. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side, and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Four shots behind our leader. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. And that's how he signs off on this event. Well, Henny, that's a fine performance. In fact, one for the ages. Very few people come up against the likes of a Tony Finau and cut them down to size. Luke, I just cannot believe that we saw that. This player has every reason to be happy with that performance. They set a goal, they challenged Tony Finau, and they beat him. It was textbook. It was so entertaining for me to be able to follow these two going back and forth throughout the event. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hard-working folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.